I met Anne through Match.com. Our first date was at a hockey game. One of the things that I liked about her was that she was very independent. We both enjoyed each other's company, but she didn't mind when I wanted to go riding on my motorcycle or hang out with my guy friends. Anne takes very good care of me. I know that any child would be lucky to have her as a mother. She loves to cook and makes dinner almost every night. She works as a trainer, which is like being a teacher only for a corporation. I know that she would do a great job helping to teach a child. Watching Anne's battle with breast cancer was tough, especially for someone so young. But she never let it get her down. She was still fun to be around. After she was given a clean bill of health, she had a difficult decision to make. She was at risk for developing ovarian cancer. The only way to avoid it was to have her ovaries removed. Even though we only had been dating for a few months, she asked me if I would be okay adopting if we ended up together. At that point, I don't think that I had told her that I had been adopted. I consider myself to be so very lucky to have been adopted by such loving, fantastic parents. So for me, getting the chance to adopt children of our own is a very rewarding experience. When I first met David, he was working in the fraud department of a very large bank. He was good at his job, but it was clear that he really didn't like it. So after thinking it over, he went to work for his family's steel company. I was so proud of him for making that decision. It meant leaving Georgia, which I know he was a really big fan of living in, but he's so much happier now than he ever was at his old job. David has a really great family. His parents adopted him when he was three months old, and then three years later, they adopted his brother, Tim. It's been really nice having his parents full support as we start our adoption journey. David's family lives 45 minutes away, so we get to see them quite often. In fact, we're having dinner with them tonight to celebrate his brother Tim's birthday. But we get together for more than just celebrations. We truly enjoy hanging out with them. David is really funny. I love that he has such a great sense of humor. He works hard and loves to travel. That's one of the things that we have in common, actually. We've been on countless trips to the beach and to the mountains. We've gone on three cruises together. One of them was during really bad weather. While others on board were cranky and upset, we still managed to have a really good time. It's one of the many things that I love about him, his ability to have a good time no matter the circumstances. Welcome to our kitchen. Um, as we mentioned in our profile, this is probably my favorite spot in the room because I really love to cook and bake. Uh, preparing for our work week is actually one of my favorite times of the weekend because I get to create a whole lot of recipes all at once. This is our guest room currently and this is the room that we think would be a great nursery for a child. Um, we have the room decorated with these flower balls that we actually used. They were from, from our wedding um, and I just thought they made a nice decoration and every time I come in here I smile thinking back on our wedding. And then this picture is a gem from my family. Um, it is from 1982 and it has my mom, my dad, my two brothers, and me. Um, you can see that Scott had a nice perm at the time. And so I hang it in the guest room so that when family comes to stay, they are forced to relive 1982. That's it. So this is Batman. Batman is our five-year-old terrier black lab mix. And he loves his stuffed animals. This is his favorite right now. This is a moose that Bubba, our other dog, wants to try to destroy. You can see where Bubba has tried to get a hold of it a couple of times. So Batman usually keeps this with him at all times. And here comes our other dog, Bubba. Bubba is an 11 year old Old English Bulldog. And despite his age, he still loves to play, particularly with anything that has the opportunity to be destroyed. So this is our backyard. 
It's definitely one of the big selling points for us for the house. Uh, it's really long, which means that we can play lots of games out here. The dogs love to play catch, as we mentioned in our profile. They don't always bring the ball back, but it's still fun. It's fully fenced in, which means that we don't have to worry about whether it's safe my husband is, uh, David, has a great grill. In addition to the grill, we have this uh, meat smoker. So definitely one of the things we love most about our house. Go for a walk are definitely Batman's favorite words. Every night after we clean up from dinner, we take the dogs for a walk really is a very relaxing way to end our day and we can't wait until we have a stroller with a baby in it too. I can tell that Anne would make a great mother because she's caring, loving and patient and just watching the way that she interacts with our nieces and nephews. I think that Dave will make a great father because he's fun to be around. He has a true sense of right and wrong. He's a great provider for our family. And he's already proven to me that when things get hard, he's there for us. He's supportive and loving. I also think it really helps that David himself is adopted because he knows what a tremendous gift adoption is. Thank you so much for watching our profile video. We really appreciate it. Thank you.